YouTube show. You've kind of talked about how you're in a different season of life now. Yeah. So you're a gardener in a different season. And my favorite thing is to talk about the different seasons of our lives, you know, in addition to the seasons that we garden in. So what does this current season look like for you? Well, you know, I'm very lucky. Um, I'm 63 years old. I'm very lucky. I'm in good health. My limbs don't hurt. My back doesn't hurt. Um, I'm active. So I can use a shovel. I can use a pitchfork. I can use all these things. But I get tired yeah. quicker. And you're, you got things going on. And you're got, playing golf. You're in the junior league. Like you got a, I got a pretty lot packed social schedule. No, I play for bocce. I play person. golf. Yeah. I do junior league. Oh, yeah. Mom's the, mom's the president of the bocce team. I'm too. the president. I was the um, captain. Captain. La we Capitan. Were. Yeah. So anyway, um, I, I, but, you know, I gardening is an important part of my life. So I do like to do it. Um, so in New York, when I garden, I also am an operating room nurse and I don't like disease or bugs or anything. So when I went out to the garden, I was dressed as if I was going into battle or surgery. Yeah. I had long pants. I had socks covering the cuffs. I had sneakers from pants. I had long sleeve shirt. I had double gloves. I had a pair of nylon gloves underneath a pair of rubber gloves on top. And I had a big sun hat and suntan lotion on my face. I was prepared for battle with, you know, working and not getting contaminated or cut or have any animal bite me because this is what happens when you're in the garden. And, you know, I, my kids think I'm a little bit much because when they would help me, I would make them dress like me. Mm -hmm. <laughs> you would love these new gardening gloves I got. They go all the way up to your shoulders. But now, when I dress like that in Florida, I sweat five pounds off. Yeah. It's, you know, you have to think about how much you're sweating, too. Because I felt like I had heat stroke one mm -hmm. day. I was out for an hour. I came in. Um, and I had to actually submerge in water to get my body temperature back to a normal space. Because... All those clothes and the heat didn't mm -hmm. work. So um, maybe we need to get you some more technical, lighter weight, breathable long sleeves too. Um, no, I just don't want anything to bite me. Yeah. <laughs> but so anyway, I, I have to pay attention to things like that. So if I sweat, I'm going to get more tired. If I'm more tired, I'm not going to get the whole job done. If I don't get the whole job done, I'm going to be upset. Right. You're going to have a half <laughs> because I'm thinking garden, right? like I can do things like I was 35. I'm not 35 anymore. I am older and I have to pace myself. Mm -hmm. So if I have a gardening project, it might take me two days to get it done because you have to start early in the morning here because it gets too hot. Yeah. You know, if you're in more temperate climate, maybe you can work more during the day, not here, early in the morning or get stuck. So I have to pace my timing differently too. So I, I don't want to find myself bending down on my knees. I don't want to be crouched on my knees because that will bother me um, in another day. And I want to be able to move around. So it's got to be, it's got to stay joyful the mm -hmm. next day. It can't be painful the next day. Yeah. So you got to pay attention. You got to pay attention to your body. Some people might have blood pressure issues. When they bend over, they get up, they get dizzy. The last thing you want to be in your garden is dizzy by yourself. Yeah. Okay. Especially if you've got thorny roses around that right. you could fall into. Right. Yeah. Um, if you are on, you know, you got to think about if you're on, I'm not baby aspirin right now. I'm not on baby aspirin, but if you're on baby aspirin, you might bleed profusely from a thorn. Mm -hmm. If you get stuck with a thorn, you might bleed profusely. So think about that. Make sure you cover yourself um, from any kind of um, scratches that you might get from gardening because you will get scratched. Oh, for sure. But it sounds like you're figuring out a new way to make your gardening habit continue to work for you. Correct. Instead of you working it for it or it right. working against you. It's much more controllable to have pots in the house. <laughs> Do, 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 do